everybody, welcome back to Wicked Good Sports. This is Bayou Breakdown. We're joined, as always, by Jack Tiernan. Jack, how you doing? Uh, Brian, we've been better. The Saints game today <laughs> was not, uh, didn't help. Um, not a fun game. No, not a, was, not a fun was, game. Well, yeah, okay, that's fair. It so it was 28 to 25. Um, the Saints played hard, missing Jameis Winston, missing Alvin Kamara. Who else wasn't out there for them? Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas. Yeah. yeah. So all that said, they, they played very competitively. And uh, I guess what are your thoughts off the top? Um, honestly, I, I think same as week one and, well, what I thought was just, you know, slow start, you know, a couple guys mm-hmm. coming off of injury, a little rusty. Uh, kind of the same concept, right? You have Andy Dalton on with the first team out here. Mm-hmm. Um, defense, I thought, played pretty well overall. Uh, yeah, 28 or, or 20 of 28, 236 and a touchdown. Right. Not terrible. That's, that's I don't want to say pedestrian, but like that's pretty good. No picks, right? It's, Happy it's with very that. Andy Dalton at this point in his career, you know? Incredibly Andy Dalton. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, that's fine. You know, that, that like he got the job done basically. And frankly, like, I don't, if anybody's mad at Will Lutz, I think, I think they're misguided, frankly. Um, mm. We had a lot of opportunities, especially in the first I mean, half. It was a sixty-one yard field goal. Right. 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 And he he just made a sixty. And it would have been good from sixty. Right. Oh God, yeah. And he it would have been good from seventy, I thought. Like that last one. If it was just mm. maybe an inch honestly, an inch more centered, it would have been mm. good. Yeah. So I'm hurt. As it was, <laughs> he, he got double doinked the the second one. I kept, dude, I kept seeing that on all of the replays, like, just, like, throughout other NFL games. You're like, oh, my God, the Saints and Vikings, this happened. And I'm like, stop showing me this. This is painful. Like, I don't I don't want to see this any more than I have to. Jack, it, you're preaching to the choir in terms of uh, them deciding to replay something horribly painful from a game. I think, I think they just, uh, you know, finished replaying to uh, getting a concussion again just in now. Uh-huh. In this yeah. game, right, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, because Jesus. But uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it was it was heartbreaking to lose that way. I'm sure, but uh, good resilience. Uh, Latavius Murray coming yeah. off the practice squad had uh, he really provided a spark. I felt like in the running game. Would you agree? I don't know if this is a hot take, but I would rather Latavius and Mark Ingram right now. I I, I think the Saints agree. I think you know from now Mark- on. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know. I really obviously love Mark Ingram, love what mm-hmm. he's done for the city, love what he's, you know, provided to the team. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't know if his legs are kind of dead right now, but, like, he's he's older. Latavius is older, too, don't get me wrong, but I think those legs are fresher being not out of football but being, like, significantly less used the last couple of years. Um, I loved him when he was a saint. I thought he was very effective. Uh, now that he, or the first bout, I should say. Now that he's back. Yeah. Right, right. Now, now he's back, and he's he's a great down runner, breaking tackles, man. Like, he looked good. I was actually going to ask you about that because when I was watching the game, I was like, oh, Latavius Murray. I haven't, like, seen him play in a while. So he was gone for a while, and now he's back. Yeah, yeah he went to the Ravens, and then I think he bounced oh, yeah. around oh, yeah. for one more team, right? I don't remember. I think he was practice squad or got cut or something, and then mm. he was just kind of out of football for a bit. But I'm glad to have him back. I've always loved him. I thought he was really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he played. He was on the Raiders after um, the Saints. Oh, really? After I remember that? Oh, he started with the Raiders. Oh, okay, and then he went to the Saints, and then the Ravens. Now he's back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I thought he played well. He had a touchdown. Taysom Hill, you know, this also played well. I talk a lot of shit about Taysom Hill. Oh, you have the same, Brian. Let me know. Um, he <laughs> was playing very well today. I felt, and he scored. A pretty big touchdown. Um, they saw Andy Dalton try to run for a touchdown on a read option. They're like, nope, never, like, never, never again. again. Yeah. <laughs> Literally looks like he was running in sand. Uh, it's it, was, it was terrible. But uh, now Taysom Hill, pretty good, I thought. Um, Chris Olave, he's really coming on. I mean, the touchdown yeah. had a huge catch at the end of this game to yeah. set them up for a field goal. Um, obviously it didn't go, but like – for a rookie in his fourth career game, that pretty good. A couple other deep passes looking his mm-hmm. way too, where I thought he could have come up with them. Uh, I think 
mean, again, you're playing with Andy Dalton. Honestly, you haven't had a lot of reps with this guy. And mm-hmm. he, this is, what is his fourth NFL game, right? I, dude, I am pumped about him. I think yeah. long term, he's great. I think as we, you know, Jarvis Landry is kind of a rental, frankly, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But Michael Thomas doesn't really, I don't know how much he has left in the tank or how healthy he's ever going to be. Um, so look, if this is the succession plan, I'm happy with it. Yeah. Um, Marquez Callaway also yep. played decently. Yep. I mean, I thought He's we good. were seeing more of him this year after uh, he was really the Saints' number one receiver last year, but, yeah. you know, he's working his way back in there. Um, Trick Lance Smith did all right, too. Um, he had yeah, a he job. had one for 18. Yes. Pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, he was okay. there are pieces here, right? right. Like, right. you know, the, I think the Saints will be okay. They, they're – Staring down right now, the one and three uh, barrel, yeah, not, not great. great, but uh, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with Jameis Winston. Um, I don't know if you can provide any more insight there. Um, oh, he would. has a fractured vertebrae, right? That's yeah, four, I believe. Oh my god, Jesus yeah. Christ! So I don't like, I don't know. I don't know if I get. He wants to like prove that he can play and like all that, but like at a certain point, do you just be like? Okay. Uh, we're just going right. to go with Andy Dalton because he's not, like, right. one hit away from breaking his back, like, worse. Right. Let's, like, let's kind of see what we have in Dalton, right? And then mm-hmm. maybe go from there? I don't know, man. It, yeah, I don't love it. I, I'm, like, I'm really sad for Jameis because I was really high yeah. on him. I mean, week one, he popped off, and then he got, then he, well, in, in the fourth quarter, granted. But, yeah. I don't, and then he, like, broke his back, basically. So, um. He hasn't looked good since. No. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what are any other big takeaways from this one that you wanted to talk about? Um, Marshawn Lattimore covering Justin Jefferson, I guess. I, mm-hmm. I was a little bit at the first the beginning of the game. I was like, oh, God, this is going to go terribly because he drew a couple penalties. And just like was I think there were two in a row where Jefferson caught for like a combined like 40 or something like that. <laughs> And I was like, this is not, like, if Marshawn can't cover him, like, I worry that this is going to get chippy and then he's going to get ejected and then mm. we're totally fucked because I don't know who, like, I like Paulson Adebo a lot in the other corner slot, but I don't know if he can, like, Marshawn can barely cover Jefferson, never mind, like, letting our second best corner try to do that. So, um, I don't know, man. I think the defense disciplined itself a little bit more in the second half. Mm. Um, but... You know, Demario Davis, Cam Jordan were looking great. Marcus Davenport looked great. Um, I I don't know, man. It's it feels like there's just like everything is like not quite coming together here, and I worry if that's gonna be what ends up collapsing this team. Unfortunately. Yeah. So I mean, four games into the Dennis Allen uh, era, how how do you feel if you had to give him a rating or if you had to like? you know, pick if you're going to keep on with him. What what are you thinking? I think there is a reason he is a really good defensive coordinator for Sean Payton. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we need some great offensive mind mm-hmm. um, to at least call the plays on offense right now. Um, I I feel like we don't have, I don't know, man. It, it, if I had to give Dennis Allen a grade right now, it would probably be like a C. He's doing fine. I don't. There are a lot of things that are going beyond his control, though. Like, like I would say Dennis Allen is probably like a league average coach, right? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know if he's like he's not really he's not Matt Rule, um, but he's certainly no Bill Belichick, Mike Tomlin, um, the Sean McVay, Kyle Shanahan level, right? He's definitely like league average, potentially worse. Um, right. But again, given the, the hand he's been dealt right now is like basically a broken quarterback. Uh, a bunch of dudes with lingering injuries um, and a completely fucked cap, frankly, mm. because they have Taysom Hill on like a bajillion dollar deal. They have Mark Ingram on an extension that was unnecessary. <laughs> Michael Thomas, um, uh, the list goes on, man. Like, I don't know. I feel like he kind of inherited a shitty situation and he kind of has to make it work. But at the same time, like the talent's there and it's just, yeah. it's, I don't know, man. It seems like it's either an injury thing or it's just a bad management thing. So mm-hmm. I, I guess that's yet to be seen. I want to. I think at the end of the year we'll have a much clearer picture of that. Yeah. No. No doubt. Um, yeah. I mean, they're they're keeping this one close. Uh, they kept the Tampa yeah. game close as well. Yeah. They're not 
as bad as one and three would like immediately no. suggest. So I, I totally agree. Like it could be much, much worse than this, right? So I yeah. I mean, all things considered, I don't know. It certainly could be worse. The the next game is against the Seahawks, which mm. um <laughs> scored forty eight points today. <laughs> Right. I'm hoping there's a little bit of a hangover for that. Mm-hmm. It also was against the Lions, who have just like a pitiful defense. Mm-hmm. Um, so Lions I know, are going to play entertaining games. They've shown that under Dan Campbell, but they're probably going to lose. They're probably going to It's going to be entertaining. They're going to lose by three, and only because mm-hmm. they were down by 10, but then got some garbage mm-hmm. time points and tried an onside kick and failed. So, right. like, that's, that, I don't know. I, it'll be a fun game to watch, I'm sure. Uh, mm-hmm. If, like, if we don't have friggin' Andy Dalton, the quarterback, and some of our players are healthy, but. Um, yeah. yeah, it kind of makes me wonder. Like, were we sleeping on Geno Smith this whole time? Like, could Geno Smith like could have been like this good this whole time, and we just were like, "No, nah, you're a backup." Because kind of, uh, he's playing well. <laughs> he kind of had the opposite Antonio Brown effect, where he gets decked by <laughs> some dude, and then now is like really good and <laughs> not crazy. I mean, that, uh, I think that I do think that completely derailed his career because. He was the starter. He breaks his jaw. Well, breaks his jaw. He gets punched in the face by a teammate and his jaw breaks. Ryan Fitzpatrick comes in. They have a good year, go like 10 and 6, I think, 9 and 7, something like that. And then that's it. That's, that's it. it for Gino. Yeah. I'm expendable. Yeah. Uh, sad. But I'm excited for him. I always like Ooh. want to see like a comeback story. It just sucks that it took so long for him to get get a shot out here. At least, like, a quarterback has some of the longest longevity in the league, though, That's right? True. So, like, if he can figure it out, he can ride it out for quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not like he's been taking hits the last few years, you know, so. <laughs> Great point. It's, Great point. It's good. Um, all right, Jack, anything you wanted to plug before we get on out of here? Sure. Uh, best place to find me is on Twitter, uh, and that's at Jack underscore Tiernan. You can follow me there for NFL takes, NBA takes. The Celtics played their first game today, which is excellent yes. news. They were awesome. Um, you can also follow my disc golf account and that's at Jack disc golfs on Instagram. Uh, lots of disc golf content being posted on there. Yes. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess we're going to Japan for a month after this. So. Yeah. So let, let's kind of explain that. So you're going to, when is your trip? When are you getting back? What are we going to do by you breakdown for the, for the people watching? That's right. For the people we're going to, we're going to be back probably in a month or so. I'll be back on November 4th, which is a Friday. Um, cool we'll have totally messed up sleep schedule. So I, I'll, I'll have a we'll lot of We'll see time. about that weekend. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, um, but I'll be back then. Uh, Celtic season will have started too, which is awesome. So mm. it'll be good. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know another Saints fan to fill in. Unlike Ryan, Either. who's going to fill in for the, for the basketball stuff. So we will be taking a hiatus on this show until Jack gets back. Uh, but yeah, that sounds awesome. Follow his disc golf, because I know you're going to be playing disc golf in Japan, right? Of course. I have yeah. to. I yeah, have to. have to. So, yeah, follow him there for all those updates. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the fake BMR. This BMAR. Our channel is on Twitter at Wicked Good Sport and at WG Everything. Instagram, Wicked Good Everything. Twitch at Twitch.tv slash Wicked Good Everything. And on TikTok, search Wicked Good Sports. Search Wicked Good Everything. Jack, we actually have a main channel video on Wicked Good Everything. Wow. Coming That's out huge. tomorrow. Uh, I discuss all the various cheating scandals in uh, chess, poker, and fishing. Who Ooh. knew? But uh, they're all very fun to me. I think they're very silly. So I did like a little funny, you know, reaction type video to those. That's awesome. So yeah, that's going to come out tomorrow on the main channel. Uh, we have our blog. We can get everything sports.com. Jack, thank you so much for your time. First time. Thanks for having me. We'll see you all in the next one.